Hey, what's going on? Dylan Tuvi of The Soccer Essentials. Today I'm talking tactics and I want to talk about how to attack as a team. So first things first, the most important thing about attacking is keep the ball, okay? So whatever you do, the number one priority is to keep this ball, okay? When we have it, if we can't move forward, that's all right to go back as long as we keep possession of the ball, okay? Keeping possession of the ball is number one priority. The next thing you want to think about is moving the ball quickly, okay? So if this player gets the ball, but he takes five, six, seven touches on the ball, what's gonna happen? He's gonna get closed down, he's gonna get screwed over, and we're gonna lose possession of the ball, okay? So in order to keep possession more effectively, you have to move the ball more quickly. So even if we're going backwards, that's all right, but we're moving the ball quickly. Even if there's no, there's no defenders around us, the ball still needs to move quickly, okay? The more touches you take, the slower you move the ball, the less effective your team will be at attacking. So what I want you to think about for now is attacking in numbers, okay? What happens most times on youth teams or average teams is we play the ball out of the back, long ball, okay? The distance between our midfielders and our strikers and our defenders is way too big, okay? If this player gets the ball up here, but he only has his other striker to play with, or sometimes he doesn't even have another striker to play with, it's really tough for us to generate an attack because he's gonna get closed down so quickly. Okay, so the key is to attack in numbers. So again, you can play a long ball, but I'd rather us play short little passes and move together as a unit, okay? If we can create triangles all around the field, we're gonna be more successful. Okay, the key is to create triangles. How does that happen? Everyone has to work for each other. So if the ball moves up the field, our whole team moves up the field. Okay, if the ball comes back towards our goal, our whole team has to move together. If you watch my video on how to defend, our whole team has to move back together so we can keep possession of the ball, keep passing the ball in these triangles. Okay, think about triangles. This is the effective way to play. Dribbling is important in certain situations, okay? Out wide, if you have to beat a player to get in or you have it a chance, to beat one player and get a shot off, okay? Or really, you don't have any passing options. You're gonna have to dribble in certain situations. But I'll tell you right now that passing and moving as a team is gonna be way more effective than dribbling as an individual. So like I said before, think about those triangles. If you can see, there's triangles all around the field as long as we run and work for each other. Triangles, triangles, triangles triangles okay your teammate when he has the ball should always have at least two passing options even if it's going back one is to support one is to attack okay when you have the ball as a player you're either thinking of your first priority should be can I attack if there's space or there's an attacking pass to be played take the space so you're either driving to goal with the ball or you're playing to attacking player and you're moving to receive the ball back okay if that's not on, what do we do? We keep possession of the ball. So if you can't go forward, go backwards, keep possession of the ball, and we'll find new space to attack. So far we've talked about keeping possession, very important, moving the ball quickly, making those triangles, playing quick passes rather than dribbling all the time. Remember there are times to dribble, but you gotta know when to and when to pass. Okay, the next thing, and probably the most important thing if you want to attack is making runs. So if everyone stands still and just waits for the ball to come to them, we're never going to be able to score goals. Okay, the key to scoring goals is making the right runs. So as an attacker, let's start with the strikers. As a striker, you want to be making dangerous runs and you want to try to get the ball in the center rather than out here by the corner flag, okay? But the runs that you're making are usually across or between the fullback and the center back, or between the two center backs, and we're looking for through balls in. Okay? So let's say your playmaker has the ball in the middle, and you are a striker. Okay,
ball into there, or you can play a ball into my feet here. But I'm, I have to make eye contact with this player, and I have to make the run with good timing, okay? If my run is too early, I'm offside before he plays the ball. If my run is too late, okay, the ball is played, and it's cut off before I even get there. So you really want to make good eye contact, start making your run. If you have a good playmaker, he'll be able to hit you at the perfect time, okay? So like I said, rather than going out here or even being here, can you receive the ball in here? Making these runs across the center back. So you're going to have good attacking opportunities. Okay, the key to making these runs though is you have to be sharp and you have to want to get there more than this defender, okay? So it's about getting in front of the defender and getting in that open space in front of the goal. As a winger, okay, you want to make these attacking runs along the side okay this ball can be played into here so you have to make the run if you want it you have to again make eye contact you want to get the ball into here so we can start making crosses if this player has the ball in here we need runs from the attackers strikers front post back post and a trailing attacking midfielder looking for a cutback here because these are probably going to come to close these are going to come to defend okay a cutback here for a trailing this run right here as an attacking midfielder, defensive midfielder, you're gonna score a lot of goals. If you're not lazy and you make this run, trailing, la trailing late for a shot on goal, okay? Defenders can attack as well, and defenders have to make runs as well, especially fullbacks. Modern game, <laughs> fullbacks are so important these days. If you wanna be a good fullback, first of all, you have to be really fit but you have to know when to make your runs. So if my winger has the ball here, first of all, I need to at least support, if not join in the play. You as a fullback need to be best friends with your winger, okay? You guys attack together as a unit. Anytime you can get two on one against their fullback because this guy, their winger is being lazy, this is a great opportunity to attack. So you're either overlapping, this player has the ball in here, you're either overlapping and again, Get the ball out here, can we make a cross? Strikers are making runs, midfielders are coming in late for shots on goal. Okay, can you make an overlap? If the winger takes the ball outside, can you, and they get shut down here, you have to make a run to at least support the ball so we can get it here and then we can play into our playmaker. If that's not on, you're gonna play around the back and we're gonna go on the other side. Very true statement, scoring goals isn't as much about technique as you think. It's more about making runs and getting in the right spots. I'm sure you have played on a team where there was a player on your team who was probably pretty bad. He had bad technical skill, but he scored like 10, 20 goals a season simply because he was getting in the right spots. So remember, making runs is the most important thing. As a striker, whatever your position, I want you to watch professional players in your position what runs do they make off the ball when they have the chance to attack okay so I just want to say before I leave that making runs is very important but you want to be careful that we're not making the same runs okay if two players make the same run one defender can mark two players if they're in the same space so you want to be cautious you have to get your head up and see where are my teammates running into Okay, if this guy's running into space to receive here, I'm not going to run across here. Okay, I'm probably going to, I'm either going to show short, give another option, or I'm going to peel around the back waiting for him to attack, make a cross. Okay, so make sure, especially as strikers, as wingers, if the striker comes across, winger, you can come in here. It's about player rotation. If you watch, again, I'm always referring to Barcelona, but they know what's going on. Okay, if you watch them attacking, Sometimes they play with like six midfielders, but everyone just rotates, okay? If he's in this space, I'm not gonna be in this space, I'm gonna be in this space, okay? We're all gonna move. If this player comes here, we can switch here. And the strikers can switch with the wingers, okay? Everyone has to be aware and able to play every position on the field. One more thing, if you want to score goals, you have to take shots. Too many players pass up the opportunity to take shots because of the lack of confidence or hesitation. If the shot is on, just take it. I don't care if you're missing, you're putting it over or wide in the beginning, you just have to get in the good habit of taking shots when you should. Please like, favorite, 
comment on this video, share it on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Make sure you're following me, Dylan Tooby, on Facebook and Twitter. Pick up that free training guide. If you go to my website, fill in one of those opt-in forms, you'll get a free training guide that I guarantee will make you a better player. With that, you're also going to get weekly updates from me. We'll see you next time.